Oh, made it, all done. Unpacked, loads of room over my head with the tarp like this. I mean, tying it up to the tree helps a bit, but the poles are plenty high enough at 135, no problem at all. So I've got all this space under this tarp, tents bone dry, uh, so no water can come in the front so I can get the vestibule open. Um, and two meters is just wide enough to cover most of the tent, but keep the vents clear at the side so it will vent, it will vent well. Um, and if it, if it stays like this, then I might be able to sleep with the door completely open and just keep the mesh closed, stop the bugs coming in. So yeah, this was just uh, an impromptu one tonight. It was meant to be later, but um, I saw that this rain was coming in tonight. So I thought I'd take advantage of it. So I've come down about an hour from my place and I'm by the sea. Um, this is a, a sound, so we don't get the constant waves that you'd get normally on the beach. So that's why you can't hear it, but you'll see it in the morning. And I'm just camped out right beside it, high up. Um, if there's a, a long, long earthquake in the middle of the night, then uh, I've got a retreat to high ground and I'll be sure to film that, but I'm sure it won't happen, fingers crossed. So I don't know if you can see Brucey, he's behind me. Bruce, do you wanna come and say hello? Hey, come here, come on, it's all right. He heard a possum, so he's a little bit nervous. Come here, come out here, come and say hello. Good boy, come on, it's okay, come here. Come on, it's all right, come here, come on. Such a good boy, he's so soft, he really is doesn't like possums. He'll chase them, um, but then he just doesn't know what to do with them. And he doesn't like the sound that they make. They go K -k 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 -k. And he doesn't like that at all. So he's hiding in the tent, like that softy that he is. What a girl's blouse. I mean, what a, what a herding dog. Now, if it was a sheep, oh, he'd be all after it. He really would. But I've got a treat for him. He can have while I'm having my dinner. Um, I bought with me a big woolly mammoth blanket uh, that um, just covers the whole floor so it's lovely in there and that's why he's quite happy he's gone back in there you can't see him but he's tucked in the corner on the blanket and he's very happy on there and I've got my Ketmandu pace setter sleeping bag that I've had I guess down to minus six and I started getting cold in it it's not for anything like that, but it's mild. It's 14. I think it's gonna get down to 10 degrees centigrade tonight, that's it, so. Um, and that's pretty much it. I've got my Thermarest Neo Air X light. Got my MSR Hubba Hubba NX2 tent, which is the one that I said is my go-to tent that is, you know, that I trust um, for pretty much all conditions. And yeah, this AquaQuest um, guide tent, uh, tarp. Now I can tell you already, just looking at it, that it is a much better build quality. It's machine sealed, much better than DD Hammocks. In fact, yeah, it is. It's done by machine, whereas DD Hammocks is done by hand and does not appear to work. We will see how this does, whether it leaks or not, I don't know. It looks pretty good so far. Um, yeah, fingers crossed on this one. This is their lightweight one, and it's very light, so it would be the equivalent of the DD Hammocks lightweight one. Um, it's all I really needed. The beauty of it, I always bring a tarp with the tent, because look at this, I've got so much space. And I'll, I'll give you a shot from the side, just to put that into context as well. Maybe do some filming from the side. I need to get my dinner on, I'm starving, so let's do that. I don't know if you saw my last one. <laughs> my last video. With the hammock. Hammocks. I had a little bit of a campfire. <laughs> it 
in more ways than one. The Tranja fell off the grill that I was using, so I thought I'd bring my camp table this time, because this will stop it falling off. Well, that's the plan anyway. I am starving. I need to get dinner on. Some shredded roast chicken for my fresh Thai jungle curry with some Uncle Ben's long grain rice. Quick and easy. And of course, whilst cooking, I think it's time for a beer. Renaissance Voyager IPA. Cheers, everybody. so good. That is so good. Very refreshing. Yeah, it's a lot better cooking on this thing. It's just that when you've got the camp chair and you're cooking, it's quite a way to bend down. It's just lazy. I like my I like my luxuries. That's why I bring a tarp. And it is raining. So when it rains, I can sit out and be at one instead of sitting in there. And I know that Bruce would be happier with the tarp if he wanted to come out, but he's being a little bit chicken at the moment, so. He's staying, he's staying in the tent. And you probably can't even see him. He's curled right up in the corner. I've never known him do that before. Bless him. He'll have his treat soon. He'll come out for that. Definitely. He's already had his dinner. Because it's quite late. Okay. Hmm, smells quite good. Love a bit of Thai green curry. Leave no trace. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is redo the chicken in there. So this is just shredded roast chicken. just fits in this pan. Do I say it fits? Sort of. Well, the chicken's already done and so this just needs to heat up. Cooking. 
and then I'll do the rice afterwards. And we should be good. Now you're doing, notice I'm doing this quite a way away from, from the entrance of the tent. That's deliberate, especially given what happened in the last video. Mmm, it tastes so good. So, got that. It's just stopped raining again. It's a bit, a bit odd. Now the rice, I'm, what I'm going to do is just put it in there, because you know, it's already cooked isn't it? You just have to warm it up, yeah, it's already cooked. So I'll put that in there when this is really hot, and this isn't going to take long. Oh, I can smell it already. It smells amazing. Smells like rice. We're bubbling away here. So peaceful here, it really is. I mean, I stay in some peaceful places, but wow, this is quiet. And usually I've got a river running by, so you've got the constant sound of the river, so you just don't hear any of the nature. You hear the birds during the day, but at night you don't hear anything. I can hear an owl just off to the side. It's just a different feeling. I can hear Bruce breathing deeply. Hey Brucey, what are you doing? Get your treat in a minute. Then you'll come out for sure. Don't know where this rain is. But I know it's going to be quite late. Probably when I'm having the cigar, which suits me. 
Okay, we are bubbling away. Yeah, this is hot. Okay, time to add the rice. This might overfill a little bit. Yeah, it's hot. Just burnt my hand almost. What I could do is save some of the rice for Bruce in the morning to go with his breakfast. Oh, I'm having my breakfast. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Save him some rice. This is the smaller Trangia. This is the 27. The 25 is, I think, for four people. And uh, what I might do is get, switch to that, upgrade to that. This is great for just me though. But sometimes I wish these pans were just bigger. Um, and also if I'm coming with my gorgeous wife, then I'm definitely going to have to bring <laughs> something bigger. Gorgeous wife, she loves her tea. So my kettle won't be big enough. She likes her English breakfast tea. And this little kettle. No. Anne likes tea, needs big kettle. Okay, so we'll save the rest of this rice. I put quite a bit in there. Save the rest of this for Bruce. He loves rice with his breakfast. Oops. That's a bit of feta. Or soy or something. Oh man, I'm going to be stuffed after this. This is huge. Oh, it smells so good though. Okay, that's ready. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, let me get Bruce his Treat. Bruce, do you want your treat? Come here. What's this? Hey. Hey. Go on then. Go get it. Good boy. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. You can have your treat. There you go. That's it. You stay there. He's going to want to take it away, but I'm going to keep him here. And here comes the rain. So, a very large Thai chicken and rice dinner. Let's see how this is. Oh yeah, that's 
that's good. That's really good. <laughs> so tasty. There's so much room under this top. And this isn't the three by three. This is just three by two. And I've got it three meters lengthways out from the front of the uh, tent and two meters sideways. And I'm completely covered. If it was howling with, with wind as well, I'd still be okay. Sit right in the middle, I'd be fine. Loads of room. He's very loud. Mm. Oh, it's very good. So I can thoroughly recommend fresh Thai green curry with roast chicken and Uncle Ben's rice. He's finished that already. So you see, it would be a lot easier for me to come out here with just dehydrated food. Like um, Luke does on the Outdoor Gear Review. I don't think he ever cooks anything. Don't get me wrong. I, l I love his channel. Um, but I'm trying to show that you can go camping in any condition and have decent food and relax and be comfortable. Hence the chair, hence the tarp, the lighting. I've got my little lamp there. My wool blanket inside the tent on the ground, which is gonna be really nice to sit in and on. It's the first time I've done that. Woolly mammoth blankets, look them up on Amazon. And I just wanna be relaxed, I wanna be comfortable. I want to enjoy camping. That's the whole point of doing it. And this is just a one-nighter. Not that far away from home, really. Um, with my dog, with Brucey, and some good food. And of course, did I say beer? Yeah. And a cigar. And here comes the rain. And there goes Bruce into the tent, onto the woolly, onto the woolly blanket. And that's him done for the night. He keeps hearing noises from, from the little estuary here. It's freaking him out. But during the day, he's absolutely fine. But this is the first time I've seen him cower in the tent. He never wants to go in the tent, do you, Brucey? Bruce. You never want to go in the tent, do you? Never. Eh? <laughs> He's popping out behind me. I don't know if you can see him. Bruce, you never want to go in the tent. Why are you in the tent now? Can you hear that owl? He's a little coward. But he's a softy. So he actually sleeps outside at home. He hears all these noises anyway. So he's used to them, but he'd be in his kennel curled up feeling safe. So for tonight, the tent is his kennel where he can curl up and feel safe. Oh, this is hot, but it's so good. Mm. Right. I am going to um, take my time devouring this and then I'll come back to you afterwards. Oh, made a bit of a food coma. That was delicious. And Brucey's hiding back. Brucey, come here. Come and say hello, come on. What's around here, anything? He's looking for nibbles and bits and pieces. Hey, what you doing? Come up here. You gonna come and say hello up here? Neat. 
He's quite happy being in the tent. I think he's enjoying the wool blanket. It's the first time it's a new blanket, and I think he's enjoying being on it. Aren't you, Brucey? The rain has started again. Bruce, what are you doing? You're in my way. No, I know where you're going. My empty dish. Ooh, so what I think I'm going to do is finish this beer, then have a hot chocolate and some biscuits. Because I want to save my cigar until it's really chucking down, and hopefully it will chuck down. Definitely sprinkling with rain now, as you can probably hear. Bruce just doesn't know what to do with himself. Bruce. But he doesn't want to go and explore, which is the f if anyone who knows Bruce, it's the first time ever that he hasn't been running out of control. Hey, Brucey, isn't it? Hmm? Are you scared? Are you gonna go to bed? How many camping trips have I been on with him? I'll never go to bed, ever. And there he is, on the blanket. I think he loves that wool blanket. He's really nestled onto it. Right, I'm gonna make up a hot chocolate and come back to you then. Rain is picking up a little bit. Temperature has suddenly dropped. So, I might have to put my puffer jacket on. Mmm, nice hot chocolate. And I think what I need to do is dunk a biscuit in there. Oh yes. Still no sign of Bruce. Curled up nicely in there. It's the calmest he's ever been. So a biscuit with my hot chocolate. It is getting a bit chilly to say. I haven't bought an awful lot of gear. But I do have a down jacket, thin down, lightweight down jacket, and my rain jacket. Hmm. And some water just dripped off the side there. So the top is working. Tying up that middle bit means that any water that does pool will just flow off eventually. I'm going to have to tighten a few of these things because when it gets wet, I don't know if it's just my paracord or if it's all paracord, but it tends to stretch a bit at night time or when it gets wet. Yeah, that's better. Oh. Again, it's raining. I'm dry. Bruce is dry. Got a nice wool blanket to go and sit in later. Sit on. I've had my hot chocolate for dinner. Some biscuits. I'm stuffed can only mean one thing. It's time for a cigar. sound of the rain, it's so peaceful. I think 
I need to have my last beer with my cigar. A Renaissance Kentish Man Fresh Hop 2021 Hazy XPA. I'm not sure what XPA is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, it's nice. This is the life. Ah, oh, and the um, door of the tent. Perfect height for my head. It's like a headrest. It's nice. <sighs> this has actually worked out better than I thought it would. I thought the tarp might be a little bit too small. But as you can probably see from the corner over here, Perfect. It's just catching the end of the tent here. It's where the rain is coming in. Which doesn't bother me. It's all waterproof. The whole tent is waterproof. The whole tent is fine. The top just gives me that porch area, awning to sit out. It makes me think of, you know, home having a, a porch. Our fresco it's, it's nice when it's raining just to listen to the rain and it's nice when you're out here just to be able to not defeat it but live with it comfortably yeah I'm happy happy man Bruce is here. Come up here. Here, Bruce. Up. Up, up. Come here. Up. He's come to say hello. You've been in the tent all this time. Mm -hmm. He's a lot happier now. Can't hear any noises. But now he knows it's raining. And what does Bruce like to do more than anything when it's raining? Bruce, what do you like to do when it's raining? He likes to lie in the rain. But he's so dry and so clean and lovely and fluffy that I'm not going to let him. Because I want a dry dog in the tent tonight to cuddle up with. Hey, Brucey, we're going to cuddle up tonight, hey? Hmm? So. I'm not going to let him go out in the rain. Oh, is it bedtime? Hmm? Is it bedtime? I'm tired. It was a big yawn. Hmm? He wants to go to bed. Well, he doesn't know what he's got, he wants to do. If he can play in the rain, then he'll go and play in the rain. But if he can't, then he'd rather just go to bed. Let me show you what I'm talking about.
So yeah, slight problem with the, I've just noticed the edges of the front edge of the tarp here that I've got up. Water seems to be just coming in through the edge seam. So even the AquaQuest is not perfect. An oversight perhaps, maybe they just didn't think about that, but with the overlap seam, with the overlap edge, they should have sealed the underside of it uh, to stop it uh, from letting water pass through. And as you can see, it is seeping in. And there are drip, drip marks there now. If it was torrential, I just wonder how much rain would eventually come in on that upper edge. So I will, uh, I will have to seam seal the edges of this tarp. It's a shame because it seems very good quality and they've seam sealed the center part perfectly, machine sealed, but they've just sort of forgotten to do the edges. I guess they just never thought that would be a problem. So yeah, I'll seam seal that when I get back home. Uh, and yeah, I don't know why they've done that. I'm also going to seam seal the tabs because uh, it suffers from the same problem that all the other tarps, except the three FUL, suffers from, and it, the tabs get soaking wet from the top uh, because again, they're not sealed. I had high hopes for this tarp that I wouldn't have to do anything with it. So a note, the AquaQuest guide, you're gonna have to seam seal the edges of the tarp if you wanna have it in this sort of configuration where it's up at one end um, and not set up for a hammock in a sort of an A-frame.
tent. It's got chilly. But I've got a decent sleeping bag. And I'm on a wool blanket. And I've got Brucey with me. Hey, no, 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 Bruce. No, 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 no. You're not going out. Come on, come back in. No chance. Hey. Okay. Thank you. He's gonna lie here with me. I don't know if you can see him, but he's he's lying right at my sleeping bag. So he'll nuzzle up with me all night. He's toasty and he's on the wool blanket. And the rain is coming down. So it's bedtime. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Unless something dramatic happens in the morning, um, or in the night I should say, I will uh, see you in the morning. And I think this is going to keep up all night and get pretty heavy. Hopefully I'll get some sleep. What do you reckon Bruce? Hopefully. Alright, night everybody. I guess you were wondering what it was like in here with Bruce. Here he is. On the wool blanket. Brucey. Bruce. Bruce. Hey. You're dry. Oh, he wants to go out and play in the rain now. He's all brave now. Now there's no noises. Now it's bedtime. He's brave. He's cleaning himself. This wool blanket is really nice. It makes the floor of the tent so much nicer. It soaks up any dampness that he might have on him. It just makes the tent a lot more livable. A livable place to be in. Bone dry in here, loads of room, huge. See, stretching my arm out. Uh, the only tent I've got where the sleeping bag never touches never touches the end of the uh, tent. The only sleeping bag I've got. It's the only tent I've got, sorry, where it never touches the end. It must just be a really long tent. I just never noticed before, but it is. And it's square walls at the ends. It's a brilliant tent, love this tent. All right, see you in the morning. Good night, everybody. Morning. Morning, Brucey. Hello. M morning. Morning. Did you have a nice sleep? Hey. Yeah, you did, didn't you? I didn't. Morning, everybody. It's six-ish. I think it's almost seven. Oh, it was a rubbish night's sleep. I don't know why I persist with this Thermarest Neo Air x Lite. It's awful. It's so slippery, isn't it, Brucey? That's his tail. You were okay on your wool blanket, weren't you? You had a great night's sleep. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I know you did. I saw you sprawled out. And this Katmandu sleeping bag, I just don't fit in it properly anymore. I'm too big for it. Too wide for it. So I need quite a wide sleeping bag so his shoulders are quite big Bruce honestly right I think it's coffee time and Bruce will want his breakfast and Bruce needs to go to the toilet hey don't you morning oh you're so nice and clean and cuddly lovely when you're like this Everybody sees when everybody sees you, you're soaking wet, filthy and disgusting. Mm -hmm. But when you're fluffy like this, because his mum, because Anne gave him a, a shower, which is quite rare. Thank you. He's lovely and cuddly like this. You could curl up with him like this, except for the fact he's so licky. You could just curl up with him. Hmm? What do you think? Do you think it's time to get up? 
Do you want to get up and go and explore and play? Go and have some breakfast. Oh yeah, breakfast. Right. <laughs> right, time to get up. And greet the day. So, paradise ducks, that's what those are. They don't like Bruce very much at all. This must be their spot. <laughs> they're following him. And they're giving off this warning sound. The male is warning him, or warning everyone else. And he's just completely ignoring them. And they're going nuts. Observe Bruce with a stick. Oh, he did. He brought it back. Come on, then, up here. Go on. Bring it. Bring it here, Bruce. Bring me the stick. Come on. Bring me the stick. Good boy. Drop. All right. Good boy. Get the ducks away. Bruce. Good boy. Is that what you wanted? You don't usually want a stick. You're gonna bring it. You're gonna give it to me. Where's the stick? Where's the stick? Good boy, bring it right here. Drop, good boy. You're such a good boy. Okay, ready? Big one. It's, it's like he's showing off for the camera. He doesn't usually do this. I'm not coming down there to get it, Bruce. You'll have to bring it to me. <laughs> he just, I don't know if that came up on camera. He just threw it over. He's so lazy. Oh, too smart. Too smart for your own good, Bruce. <laughs> You're going to shake on me now, aren't you? Go on then. Up, leave it. Okay, I'll throw it. You're going to shake. Shake. Oh, have you got some stick in your mouth? Okay. You're going to shake? We're going to keep doing this, aren't we? Well, I've worn myself out throwing the stick for Bruce. And he's demolished most of that stick now. These paradise ducks, even though they're freaking out about Bruce, they're not going away, and he is totally ignoring them. What do you reckon, Bruce? You think it's time to go home? Should we go home? Yeah, I think it's time to go home. Let's go home, Bruce.
I'm all packed up, but I'm just gonna have one more coffee. Before we go, because it's so pretty here. Bruce has had a good time, haven't you, Brucey? It's coffee. You don't want coffee. What do you think, Bruce? Was that a good time? Was that a good camp? Good camp in the rain. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Everything's packed up. I'm gonna have this coffee. I'm just gonna sit and chill and walk out. Um, <laughs> he's happy. So yeah, thanks for coming. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything on that one. It's a shorter one than usual, just a one-nighter. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you enjoyed the sound of the rain on the tarp. I was bone dry, had a really nice, relaxing evening with Bruce. He had a good time. And uh, what a spot, right by the you know, right by the sea. It's nice and calm. Um, so thanks for coming. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button, hopefully. And uh, turn on notifications so you can see when I'm doing the next one. And I post a lot to my community tab with polls asking what people want to see next. So keep an eye on for that. Keep an eye out for that. Again, thanks very much for coming. See you next time. Hey Bruce. Do you say goodbye? Ready to go home? You want to stay here?